Hairspray. Fancy glue for your head or secret rocket fuel? You decide. In today's funny story joke, we ditch the chemicals and go full Willy Wonka with sugar water hairspray. Spoiler alert, it's gonna get messy. Picture this, a mischievous little dude named Timmy teaching his grandpa a lesson or two on how to put certain things back where they belong. Who knew hairspray can be used for that hack? Buckle up, giggle heads, because this sticky showdown has a twist that'll leave you laughing and questioning your childhood beauty hacks. But first, we gotta dive into this sugar-coated extravaganza. Stay tuned. The great hair hold up, hairspray versus sugar water, a sticky showdown for the ages with a shocking twist. Ah, hair. The crowning glory, the main of mystery, and sometimes the tangled mess that mocks our attempts at control. But fear not, fellow follicle wranglers, for we have two valiant warriors in this battle for hold, the mighty hairspray and its surprisingly sweet challenger, sugar water. Buckle up, because this is about to get hilarious and a little scientific. Hairspray, the modern marvel, questionable ingredients edition. Hairspray, it's the pocket-sized bodyguard for your hairstyle, the wind's worst nightmare. A spritz of this stuff and fly away cower in fear, like a rogue feather duster meeting a Roomba on steroids. It offers a range of holding powers, from a gentle wave hello to a gravity-defying ain't nobody moving this mane. However, like any superhero, hairspray has its weaknesses. Overuse transforms your hair from a masterpiece to a crunchy, helmet-like creation more suited for a porcupine convention than a night out. Product buildup becomes a real issue, leaving you with a mane as dull and lifeless as yesterday's toast. Plus, let's not forget the fascinating list of ingredients that often reads like a rejected science experiment. Acrylates copolymer. Basically, fancy glue for your hair. Great for hold, not so great for brushing. Dimethyl ether and propane. These propel the good stuff and potentially propel you into a sneezing fit if you're not careful. Fragrance. The industry's catch-all term for a secret blend of chemicals that might smell like berries, but could actually be distant cousins to rocket fuel. Sugar water, the OG hairspray, and a sticky situation. Long before the invention of hairspray, our resourceful ancestors wielded a secret weapon so sweet it could give Willy Wonka a sugar rush. Sugar water. Yes, you heard that right. This DIY concoction involved dissolving a bathtub full of sugar, because cavities were clearly a fad back then, in water and using it as a styling agent. Hold? Think more of a gentle suggestion than a firm grip. A strong breeze could send your carefully crafted hair flying faster than a squirrel on Red Bull. But hold on, pun intended, because sugar water has one undeniable advantage, shine. You'd basically become a walking disco ball, guaranteed to light up any room, or at least confuse everyone around you. Rain, however, would be your ultimate nemesis, transforming your hairstyle into a melted lollipop situation. Not ideal for a first date, unless you're going for the human candy floss look. The science of hold, hairspray versus hair roots. Now, let's delve into the nitty gritty of hair biology. Hair grows from tiny pockets in your scalp, called follicles. These follicles produce a protein called keratin, which is the main building block of hair. Here's where our hair warriors come in. Hairspray. While hairspray works its magic on the hair shaft, the visible part of your hair, it doesn't directly affect the hair follicle at the root. However, excessive use can lead to product buildup on the scalp, potentially clogging pores and hindering hair growth. Think of it like blocking the doorway to your hair's personal gym. Sugar water. This sticky situation doesn't offer much hold, but the sugar content can actually feed the scalp microbiome, the good bacteria that live there. A healthy scalp microbiome can contribute to healthy hair growth. However, too much sugar can also disrupt this delicate balance, leading to irritation and potential hair loss. Alrighty, giggle heads. Ditch the hairspray, for now, because things are about to get sticky. 
We're talking sugar water, vintage vibes, and a hair-raising showdown that'll leave you questioning your childhood beauty hacks, and maybe a little worried about ants. Forget the fancy chemicals and rocket fuel disguised as a pleasant mist. We're going full Willy Wonka with DIY hair control. Now, here's the twist. Grandpa John watched how little Timmy pulled a worm out of the ground and told him that if he could put it back in, he would give him a hundred bucks. Little Timmy left for a bit and said, Okay, Grandpa, watch this. Timmy then pushed the worm right back down the hole it came out from. Grandpa got out the ten bucks and gave it to Timmy. Timmy said, Grandpa, I can't keep this because I cheated. I sprayed the worm with hairspray. That's why I was able to do that. No, you keep it. The next morning at breakfast, Grandpa walked to Timmy and gave him another ten bucks. No, Grandpa, you already paid me. That money was from Grandma. <laughs> if you liked our joke, then please watch our next joke by clicking here.